It's week 10 of the NFL, and we're going to see Mark Andrews. He's going to be a busy man in the passing game. It's the Ravens and the Bengals under the lights on Thursday night. Next to some of the northernmost waters of the beautiful Chesapeake Bay, we're at M&T Bank Stadium near Baltimore's Inner Harbor. Thanks so much for joining us, everybody. Up here in the booth, I'm Kate Scott, alongside Brock Heward. And Brock, now that we're into the November portion of our season, we've got a pretty good picture of who both of these teams, at least who we expect these teams to be from here on out. Yeah, no question about it, Kate. They're through the opening rounds if this is a boxing match, right, in the yep. season-long fight. Early issues been worked through, or at least you hope so. And this is where they have to be in that groove as we push through the heart of the season. Any team with hopes beyond Week 18, they got to be figured out to figure out who they are and what they are right now. Their biggest strengths and their most glaring weaknesses. In this game, it's about emphasizing those strengths, hiding those weaknesses, and playing some winning football. Ready to get this game started. Here's Evan McPherson. And we're underway from the bank. On the return, here comes Justice Hill. He stopped on the return at the 27. So the Ravens offense taking over for the first time here. And then brought out by the reigning MVP, the second of his career, the best runner in the game, it's Lamar Jackson. And when we look back at last week's win, Kate, pretty easy to see those four touchdowns. A lot more of an impact on the game than the one interception he threw. Wasn't quite perfect. I'm sure that pick will nag at him, but you'd welcome an encore of everything else he was doing in that ball game. Drive begins with Henry. And somehow he manages to get back to the line of scrimmage before going down. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Running once more with Henry. And he gets it forward to still about a yard out of that. Brought down by Hendrickson. Drive in dire straits, it's third and nine. Brings up third down and nine. Slot man motioned over. Jackson now on third. Connects on the crosser. And he's short of the first after a mild game. You can earn your money in the NFL in all sorts of different ways, but defensively, in a league where you're just not hitting as much in training camp, you're not tackling as much as they got to in the old days, when you can make a play in the open field, keep them short like that, I promise you some money will follow. And he gets his guys a few yards before they bring him down on the return. So here are the Bengals now as they get set for their opening drive. They're led out by a motivated player coming off an injury, one of the game's great young QBs, Joe Burrow. Hey, it wasn't a banner game you had last week, stuff in the stat sheet, but still one that falls squarely into the good territory. Had a couple touchdowns to make up for the one interception, and his effort was enough to be one of the pillars in their win, and certainly some momentum to build on today. Only two yards, and it brings up second and eight. Yeah, that defense was flying to the ball. You see that outside toss. This is a pursuit drill that they work on over and over again. Get to that toss before it can really get started. They'll run here. It's Zach Moss who gets it. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Third and six for them to figure out now. Burrow from the gun. On target to his man Higgins. Down after a nice gain and a first down. You know, they call that the money down for a reason, because you're just simply not going to last long in the NFL if you don't convert a good portion of your third downs. It's the money down. And nice to see them roll the dice and continue the series. Now a shotgun handoff to Brown. Blast through midfield. And he has this all the way across to the opposing 45. 
It's a great pickup, 16 yards, and now they've got first down. Burrow out of the shotgun. Completes it to his running back, Zach Moss. Broke through the tackle. And he'll go out of bounds close to the 35-yard line. That is the epitome of staying on schedule. That kind of completion right there on first down. Well, it opens up the entirety of the playbook for second down. And the third and short in your back pocket and get even more aggressive and take that shot. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. I'm sure coach and play caller doesn't mind making the job a little bit easier. You know, play calling's a lot simpler and easier when you count on the offense to move the chains on those early downs. First time this game, they've looked to him. And that'll bring up second down. To throw again, it's Burrow. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. Trying to get it to T. Higgins. And that's gonna leave him with a tough third and long. Out of the shotgun, Burrow. Higgins makes the catch. And they get this all the way down to the 16-yard line. Give him 13 on that play. And it'll be first down, Bengals. Good offenses. Okay, good play callers know how to utilize their personnel. They know where they wanted him. They wanted him in a route in space where he could make that initial play comfortably, but then go to work after it. A new set of downs forthcoming. It's first and ten. From the red zone now. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Yeah, th this game, you just can't make it harder than it needs to be. Just get the catch first. Guarantee your yards, and then worry about escaping defenders after the catch. And what a risk, but he can't hang on. No interception, but nearly a turnover in the end zone. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Looking to throw, Burrow. Moss hauls it in. And the defense is all over this one for a big loss. Not terribly complicated on this one. Just not the third down screen you wanted to run. Little chance they were getting the first, and apparently, little chance they were going to even gain a positive yard at all. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that one's going to get them on the scoreboard. Well, I know once that drive stalls out, that's where it really pays to have that reliable kicker on the sideline ready to bail you out. And he knocks that one right through to give him the lead. Deontay Hardy to return. He's got a lead up past the 30. And a good return here as he gets it out past the 35. The Ravens and Lamar Jackson are ready to go again on offense. And it's not just a blip for him this year. He's been one of their go-to scorers on the ground as we get through the heart of this season, leading all quarterbacks in rushing touchdowns. Henry gets it here to start the drive. And they had that one contained right at the line. Look at Cam Taylor Britt getting up there to track that one down. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Lamar now from the gun. Defender arrives right as the ball does, and the hit knocks it free. Incomplete. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Lamar off to play fake. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And the defense comes through to back him up ahead of fourth down. That sure ended up being a worst-case scenario. Pass rush just kept coming and coming and bearing down. And he was looking for an escape that wasn't there. It's just one of those plays in hindsight, Kate, where you really got to understand, I got to cut bait, cut my losses, and avoid such a negative play. Baltimore lined up in punt formation. Charlie Jones on the Bengals' return. 
Went for 48 with his first kick, and this one looks even better. Signals for the fair catch, and he's got it at the 27. No return on that punt, and it'll be Bengals football. The Bengals all set to go for their second drive. And the last drive did end in points. Not as many as they wanted, though. They had to settle for that field goal despite advancing the football pretty well. First down, Burrow to throw. Into the hands of Kasiki, complete. They're working a couple of yards past the line. Nate Wiggins getting up to end that play. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Brown on the inside give. This is ahead for about five. It was Marcus Williams in on that stop. He got five, and now it's going to be third down and three. Burrow. That one is incomplete. Couldn't hang on through the contact. See the pass, time up your hit, and char that ball loose. Not a lot of players are hanging on to a well-placed hit like that one. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. He breaks a tackle, and he'll scrape together what he can on the return. He gets it back to the 20. Big kick on that one, 62 yards. And the Ravens will go on offense. Here's Henry on the option. And he'll bowl his way ahead for a four-yard pickup. A look at his numbers on the ground from last week here. Second and six coming up here. Another run for Henry. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. The end result there, 15 yards and a first. You know, Kate, if you notice those guys that, that love to feed themselves on the field, right? they love to just get more and more. They're hungry for even more. I'll tell you what, that tackle, it prevented something that's going to be a lot bigger. But that back remains hungry. Pass into the hands of Mark Andrews. And he gets him around six there. Remain Pratt with the play defensively. After a good pickup, they've got second and four. At the 46 yard line. Out of the gun, Henry. And they limit the damage just a few yards on that game. The play brought to an end by Logan Wilson. Third and just two to go. Brings up third and two. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. Complete beyond the marker. He'll have the first down and even more. And they finally bring him down, but that is a big gain and a new set of downs. How about 29 yards on that play, partner, as they get the chains reset? Yeah, I love that effort, adding as much as possible to that catch while earning the first down. That's called yards after catch, and it's what coaches want from all their pass catchers on the roster. They put Flowers in motion right. They go play fake with Jackson. Complete Derrick Henry. And he's brought down for a loss. Well, if they were concerned about losing yards, running it on first down, it just happened anyway. Not many passes end in the loss. Hopefully they got a little more aggressive strategy coming here on second down. Offense to the line for second down. Pressure coming, it's Jackson. Throwing quickly, but it's incomplete. Looking that time for Deontay Johnson. So they're left facing third and long. Again, it's Jackson to the air. And that's a win for the pass rush. Hit as he threw it, leads to the incompletion. Fourth down coming up. 
And this is why scouts talk about a player's closing speed, Kate. You know, once he senses the pressure, he's getting rid of that ball. It takes a player who can close quickly to get to him before it's released. And that sure altered the throw. And that one is good. A little longer, but no problem at all. And we're all tied up now in the first half. A dependable kicker, man. That is a coach's best friend. Saves him so much stress to have a guy he can really trust to go out and hit it from that distance consistently. Because from that far out, no kick is a guarantee. And a decent return ends as they bring him down inside the 30. Cincinnati just about set for its next offensive possession. They were only on the field for three plays their prior series, Brock. Let's see what changes they make to take over here. First and ten now. Here's Burrow. And that falls incomplete. Gosh, you could just almost feel his eyes up here, Kate, getting huge, right? He was envisioning the return, and he simply dropped it. Got to secure that pick before you think of anything else. And he's caught after a game of about two. Chopping that play, Trenton Simpson. He gets a couple, and it'll bring up third down. Throwing is Burrow. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Oh, that drop is such a bummer because it ruins the payoff of such a well-designed play, Kate. Got the man open, beat the coverage, but then you got to go finish it. You got to go make that catch. I will say, keep that one in mind. They could revisit that play in the future. And he's brought down before the return gets far. Offense ready to begin this drive. First and ten. Tight end in motion left. First down, here's Lamar. And he just hucks this one away. Wasn't going to risk a throw or force something. It brings up second down. Play action, here's Jackson. Finds him over the middle. And they catch up to him, but not until he's got a huge gain and a first down. We've arrived at the end of one on Thursday night. Both teams neck and neck so far. Back to the bank in just a moment. Back at beginning the second quarter, Ravens in possession. They've got a first to begin the frame. Handoff headed right to Henry. Call it no gain on that run, and they face second and ten. Well, one defender felt well, his buddy was there to swarm to the ball and make that play just as it gets to the line of scrimmage. Now Jackson off the play action. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. When nothing opens up, that becomes a pretty clear throwaway spot. I mean, that is textbook throwaway spot right there, Kate. Get outside the box, chuck it into the third row, and avoid exactly what happened right there. Because now third down is so much harder. Nearly an interception on that play. And that brings up fourth and long. Here's Jordan Stouts coming on again to punt. Jones out there to return it. And he's certainly been staying busy. Once again, he's out to punt and sends this flying. That hits at the nine, but nobody around to grab it. It carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals and Joe Burrow all set to take over. And as we work our way through this regular season, you can see he's currently sitting in the top five of the league in passing. On first down, here's Burrow. Got his target, it's Higgins. Still going inside the 35. And he breaks into enemy territory before being stopped on a huge game. You know, Kate, we often talk about flipping the field in special teams, right? A, a kick return, a good punt. Well, an explosive play like that does the exact same thing. Look at the difference in field position by hitting on that shot. You've totally flipped the field in the tone of this drive.
Now Burrow. That's Kasiki. He's got it. And he's going to be stopped at the 17-yard line. Nice spot here for the offense. It's second and one. From the 17. Catch made by Chase Brown. And he'll be taken down at the last possible moment. He's at the one. Give him about 16 yards on that gain, Brock, and it sets him up with first and goal. Brown reaches the end zone. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals take a second quarter lead. So, Brock, this offense starting to find its rhythm a bit as they finish things with a touchdown there to give them the lead. And the key word there that you said is finish because you want to have that mindset, even in early in the game, that field goals aren't going to cut it. So that's great work to make sure they finish with six points. Extra point added on by McPherson. And the Bengals break that tie and now lead by seven. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Hardy on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. They're out and set. First and ten. They'll start this series with an option left. It looks like we can call it about four yards in the end. The play brought to an end by Logan Wilson. Second and six coming up here. Bateman, the motion man left. Second and six now. This one is tipped away and incomplete. Good positioning to make a play on it. That forces third down. Yards to go. Shotgun snap to Jackson. And that one's too far in front of him, so now they're facing fourth down. You know, it's a point of emphasis in practice each and every week, no matter where we go. How are we going to attack the coverage on third down? Well, they chose the wrong play off that call sheet that time. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team, and the kick's away. Looking to return from the 29. And it gets them something back on that return. They're up in the neighborhood of midfield. The Bengals then running back Chase Brown, getting sent to begin another drive here. And after watching their passing attack, take them the length of the field last drive, Brock. I expect we're probably going to see a heavy dose of the aerial attack again here. Burrow from the gun. Short throw is dropped. This one's incomplete. Look like a bit of a concentration drop on that one. So that brings up second down. Out of the shotgun, Burrow. That's Thomas, he's got it. And he takes it up and across midfield into Ravens territory. Chance to move the chains here on third and four. Burrow out of the shotgun. Got a man, it's Kasiki. And he'll pick up enough to move the chains. That's what we call situational football. You spend all week working on your nickel passing game package to take advantage of third downs just like that. To throw again, it's Burrow. Nowhere to go with it, so he just throws it away. They would sure love to connect on some of these intermediate throws, those chunk throws. Getting a completion like that, well, not only does it spark your offense, but it just sets you up for even more aggressive play calling. Burrow throwing again on second and ten. He had it for a moment, but a great defensive play to jar it loose, incomplete. No connection on the last play, and out third down. Here's Burrow. Into the hands of Kasiki, complete. And a nice game here, but it's stopped short of the first. 
Feet and eyes, Kate. Feet and eyes. They so often tell the story of every position on the field. When that quarterback's feet and eyes move to his secondary read, and so often it's a tight end, well, it's incumbent on that defense to fly to the ball. You want to make that tackle, force the fourth down? It took a great defensive effort to do it. Okay, one of the areas that kickers and quarterbacks are similar, they want to get into rhythm. And no better way to feel good and get into that rhythm than start a game two for two as a kicker. Hardy on the return. Now bottle him up as he gets the return to the 30. And the drive will start out with a first and 10. Lamar now from the gun. Andrews with the catch. And he'll push this upfield and earn them a new set of downs. First and 10 from the 41. From the gun, a run for Henry. And he'll have a small four-yard chunk there. Remain Pratt with the play defensively. Second and six coming up here. Second and six. The Receiver in motion, headed right. Didn't get that one off in time. This is going to be a delay of game. Delay of game. Off. Man in motion wasn't set in time. Just couldn't get a snap away before the play clock expired. Still second down. Still second down. All right, here we go. Second down. Out of the gun. Here's Jackson. The pass. Jermaine Pratt there on the tackle. A loss of nine on the play. Brings up third down. And the Bengals bring it out a fifth DB. They're in the nickel, third down. From the gun, Jackson. Coverman is there, and he harmlessly knocks it away. Incomplete. That one intended for Mark Andrews. And they're going to be stuck with a fourth and long. The Ravens getting ready for the punt. And this is going to be his fourth effort tonight. Averaging a little under 50 a kick so far, Bronk, as he gets away another one. And before that return amounts to much, they bring him down. The kicking team got downfield quickly there. He didn't manage much on the return. And they'll get ready to go on offense. First down, Burrow to throw. On target to his man Higgins. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. After a good pickup, they're set up with second and short. Play action now. Burrow launches one deep downfield. And he's there to send that one away incomplete. Any DB prefers a highlight real interception and just forcing an incomplete pass. But as soon as he realized the pick wasn't possible on the play, he gets his hands on it and made sure it wasn't completed. And he's dropped just short of the marker, maybe a yard away. You know, I'm not sure what else could have been done there, Kate. Just the right call defensively to come up with a third and short stop. The Bengals send out the punting unit. Deontay Hardy to return this for the Ravens. And he finally gets a hold of one here. This is hit far. Begins his return at the 16. And he'll scrape together what he can on the return. He gets it back to the 20. That punt goes 63 yards. And it'll be their football. They've got a man in motion. On first and 10, it's Henry. And that's good for a gain of five. That was Geno Stone up there to make that play. Halfway there on first down. That brings up second and five. Brings up second and five. Speed 
Lamar back to throw. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. Kate, you can give him much of the credit for this early lead. Heck, give every player in that defense now their fourth sack of this game credit because that ambush on the quarterback, a big reason why they're in control of this game. Jackson now on third. No luck on the connection. It's incomplete. No luck finding his receiver that time. And now they're staring at fourth and long. Jordan Stout on now to punt. And this will mark his fifth kick of the night. And he's going to call for the fair catch here at the 38-yard line. So no return on that punt. And it's going to be their football coming up. Good starting field position awaits the Bengals as they get set for first and ten. Burrow back to throw. Has him on the quick hitter. Pick up of a few as he heads out of bounds. Second down now, seven to go. Running out of the gun with Moss. And he's tackled for a short game. They got two yards there. That leaves him with third down and five. Burrow setting the throw. Short pass caught by his tight end. They'll move the chains after that pickup of 12. I'm not sure how this defense let that guy slip through him like that. On third down, nonetheless, he took that snap as an opportunity. And man, did he make an impact play. From the 44-yard line now, first and 10. Man in motion here. First and 10 now. Here's Burrow. This one taken in by Chase. And he's a yard or two shy of the 30 before going out. They've got first down from the 31. Throwing is Burrow. Got a man, it's Thomas. We'll have him gain about a handful there, giving that tackle to Kyle Van Noy. Everyone's prepped. It's second down now. Burrow. Short pass brought in. And they bring him down at the 18-yard line. Give him eight yards on the play. And it sets up a Cincinnati first down. Working inside the red zone. Throw reeled in by Thomas. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. Now we're going to get an offensive timeout. So that's their first. Motioning the tight end left. Still sticking with the passing game. Can't connect over the middle. It's incomplete. Well covered on that play. Really not a large window for him to sneak that throw in. Burrow from the gun. And the catch is made. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals will add to their lead at the end of the half. Well, Brock, you know this better than most. Sometimes these dudes can be a quarterback's best friend, finding the tight end in the end zone for six. And it really has been that way for decades when you think about it, Kate. From John Mackey to Tony mm -hmm. Gonzalez to Travis mm -hmm. Kelsey, mm -hmm. the position could be such a mismatch when you're throwing for the end zone. Point after up and good by McPherson. And the Bengals take a three-possession lead. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. He'll now to return it. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line.
They'll begin this drive with barely over 25 seconds left. A tight end in motion now. First down, here's Lamar. Nothing there left side as it ends up incomplete. That was Zay Flowers, the intended receiver. So second down coming up. Shotgun snap to Jackson. And that's incomplete, but he might have done a little too much to cause that. Flag comes out, and this could be interference. So a little too much contact on the part of the defender, and the officials flag him for it. On first down, Jackson. Bateman hauls it in. And he'll be brought down a step or two shy of midfield. They're going to mark him at the 48. Second and one. Caught by Flowers. And he's down. Looks like they made the stop at the 46-yard line. Now we're going to have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. First and ten. Here's Jackson. Gets this to Bateman. And he takes it just inside the 40, down to the 39. Ravens call in on Justin Tucker for the field goal. He better get all of this one. It's got a ways to go. And this kick is good. He needed to get all of it there, and he did. And the gap closes to 14 points. Inspiring a bunch of confidence in himself right there, Kate. Second time they brought him out for a field goal, and second time he's knocked it right through. Trust is earned in a number of different ways on the field, but that's the best way to gain it as a kicker. One last play before the break. All right, keeping it simple. They're just going to call a give right up the middle. And that's good yardage there with a new set of downs to boot. That brings us to halftime with the visiting Bengals out in front. Now it's down to Florida where Jonathan Coachman is standing by in Orlando for the EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Kate, thanks very much. We'll get back to you and Brock in just a moment. But first, let's give everybody a look at what's coming up later this weekend around the NFL. Lots of great matchups to come this weekend, starting out in Germany, the final international game of the year. Giants and Panthers from Munich. Oh, it's an early start, 9.30 a.m. Eastern time. Excellent games in the late afternoon window as well. One being over in Arlington, where it'll be America's team, the Cowboys, taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. Lastly, on Monday Night Football on 11-11, Dolphins and Rams from SoFi, in LA. The highlights are fairly one-sided to this point. It's a two touchdown difference here at the break, but I wouldn't call this one over just yet. I think there could still be some fireworks yet to come. On the return, here's Jones. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Bengals headed back out on offense. Their quarterback returning to the field now. And on that last drive, Brock, he crossed a notable threshold in passing yards for the season. Always nice when you can reach one of those plateaus to look back on after the year is over. From the gun, a give to Brown. And he's into the front for a gain of about two. Okay, that's a run that's whole hum on the stat sheet. But if you see a bigger play on the ground later on, it'll largely be because of a play just like that one. Softening up the front and opening the door. A bigger gap in the future. And the push forward doesn't get beyond the line. Stopped by one of the league's best tacklers, Roquan Smith. A less than ideal third and eight. Burrow out of the shotgun. That's Thomas, he's got it. And they're gonna bring him down just beyond the 30 at the 31. Those little short throws, they are high percentage and certainly bread and butter, but they really run the risk of a quick tackle just like that and being stopped short of the sticks. Punt team is on now and they get this away. 
And the coverage team is there as he fields it, so almost nothing on that return before he stopped. The Ravens are being led back out there on offense by their quarterback. And among dual threats in the NFL so far this season, there has been no equal. He's leading all quarterbacks in rushing yards to this point. On first and ten, it's Jackson. Complete out to the right. And he gets back to the line, but no more. Defense all over that throw. You could just smell it. They just smelled that football coming their way, and that's as good as an incompletion. And they're going to be in a good spot, second down coming up. Pistol snap to Jackson. Completed to Flowers. And that will not be enough for a first down. Good luck defending that short yardage slant. Just not going to happen. There's a reason. This is a go-to play for just about any quarterback in every situation. Fails out of the pocket quick. He'll make a bid for it on the ground. A 70-yard pickup, and it moves the chains. As long as these are the results he's getting, they're going to be just fine with him calling his own number. He does such a good job of seeing the field and knowing when it's his time to take it himself. We give to Henry on the inside handoff. And this is pushed ahead for a gain of five. The play brought to an end by Logan Wilson. Back to the line they go. It's second down. We give right side to Henry. What was supposed to move the chains or at least make third down easier to handle instead? But did the exact opposite here, Kate. It now makes this third down a whole lot trickier to figure out. Throw on third down. And he didn't get enough into that throw. That's low and incomplete. So they're going to be facing fourth down coming up. There's the importance of staying in phase as a defender. He was all over him in coverage. And that really did help force the incompletion. Hunter takes the field on fourth down, and he sends this one flying. The visitors ready for their next series, led out on offense by their quarterback. And he has continued to own this defense and keep on throwing that football partner, making this performance one that he's going to remember, uh, but as you like to say, the defense will probably rather forget. On first down, here's Burrow. It was there, but he couldn't hang on. That's incomplete. Had that one, but just couldn't see it through. And it sets up second down. Looking to throw, Burrow. Got a man, it's Kasiki. And he's able to get across the 25 before stepping out. Rhythm. You hear me talk about rhythm a lot. Whether it's a golf swing, a baseball swing, heck, even a bowler gets himself into rhythm. And I'm just telling you, Kate, from experience, these little throws to running backs, it's one of the best things to get your offense into rhythm and a nice little gain on top of it. That one gains seven. And it'll be first down, Bengals. On the ground, Brown. And he breaks even, but that's it. Brought down at that line of scrimmage. Stopping that play, Trenton Simpson. Second and ten, need to get some positive yardage here. Straight ahead, it's Brown. And he found some running room for a nice game. Seven yards on the carry. Now they've got third and three. Burrow to the air now. That one falls to the turf. Couldn't hang on. It's incomplete. Making it harder than it needs to be right there. Just get the catch first. Guarantee some yards. And then worry about escaping the defenders and getting upfield. They bring on the punt team, and they get this kick away. And he's got this fair catch right along the 12-yard line. The Ravens trotting out their offense. And this game might be going better if he could have some more time just to work back there. This pass rush has been all over them, really keeps taking this offense out of any grooves that they've managed to get into.
You know, Kay, I like to say in life, there's energy givers and there's energy vampires. Yeah. And for this defense, these sacks right here, they're such energy givers. And man, it's like a vampire sucking the juice out of an offense. Yeah, I love that. Trying down the middle with Henry. And the defense gets there to force a small loss. Well, he was supposed to be the one who chipped away a few and got a new set of downs started right in rhythm. Instead, he's now forced to pick himself from behind the line thanks to a great effort defensively. From the gun, Jackson. That one's incomplete. Had the connection, but some stone hands got in the way there. Last pass unsuccessful, and they have third down here. Lamar now from the gun. Escapes the pocket. Oh, he was on the move, but so was the defense, and they take him down. And the defense comes through, and that's going to back him up and bring up fourth down. Not a person in this stadium didn't start tensing up the way I did up in the booth. You could feel that goal line coming, right? Pressure right in his face nearly turns into a couple points now. Well, now you got to be so careful. No breathing room for the next snap. Baltimore lined up in punt formation. And after that drive went backwards, he's going to send this one forward. He gets it out of there, and this has some distance. And he's getting nothing on that return. They wrap him up almost at the exact spot that he fielded that punt. The visitors and this running back headed back out for a new series. And that punt gets up to 59 yards. And it'll be good field position for them as they take over right at midfield. Now it's Brown. And the plunge up the gut yields nothing there. No gain there that time, and it's second and 10. Out of the shotgun, Burrow. Pocket isn't holding up. They're able to drop him. And that pushes him back. Third down coming up. This is a time where you get in that huddle and you just look at one another and say, hey, let's get back in rhythm. Get back in rhythm. Get something good to feel good about. Sure, you'd love to get the first down, but more than anything, just find a positive play after a huge sack. Third and long. Here's Burrow. Finds his back complete. Just get this guy touches. I don't care how. I don't care when. Just find unique ways to get this running back the ball. And over time, he's going to make you pay. Fourth down, and on comes the punt team. And the kick's away. So this one goes out of bounds inside the 20, but not by much. They're giving him the 18-yard line. They'll get this drive started. First and 10. Out of the gun, here's Jackson. Andrews with the catch. And he'll be brought down along the 25-yard line. He's just one of those guys, Kate. Even when he's not open, he's still a target thanks to that physicality and his ability to just play bully ball. They don't like forcing into coverage, but sometimes when you got a bully like him that can create space, just find a way to get him the ball. That one firmly denied by the man in coverage. And now they'll face a third and three. They'll put one of the tight ends in motion. Third and short. He's taking the option right. And he'll go down after pushing this up to the 29. It's a gain of four there. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. First and 10 at the 29 yard line. Lamar off to play fake. Finds him on the crossing route. They get 20 yards out of the play and move the chains. You know, Kate, you'll find teams go to this crossing route concept sometimes a dozen times a game. A lot of times it's for shorter yardage, and sometimes things break in the right coverage for a much bigger impact play, just like that. First and 10 from a yard shy of midfield. Lamar out of the pistol. 
Finds a man, right side. Give him an even 10 yards on the play. And that's good for a Ravens first down. Here's a gift for Henry. And they're all over him again. He's dropped at the line of scrimmage. No progress on first down, and that'll bring up second and 10. They go play fake with Jackson. He finds Johnson. And he's taken down at the 30. That's an 11-yard pickup, and it gives them the first down. That's good for another Baltimore Raven. First and 10 at the 30-yard line. Play fake, Jackson. And this throw is knocked away, incomplete. I'll tell you what, Kate, that's a really nice play in coverage. That linebacker looking like a quarterback on that play. Perhaps those cover guys could take some notes on how to stay in position and most importantly, swat that pass away. Second and 10 now. Has him on the quick hitter. You'll often hear it said, in my life experience, it's true. The NFL is a game of matchups, so much more than any level. And these tight ends, we see it time and again, are such a matchup nightmare down the field. We've reached the end of the third quarter on this Thursday night. It's the Ravens' ball. They come in trailing, but that lead is within reach. Battle coming up on third and inches. Lamar throwing again. Complete beyond the marker. And he'll go down here at the 16. It's a gain of four. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. First down. First and 10 at the 16 yard line. Motioning one of the tight ends. And again, it's Jackson. Finds him over the middle. And he's going to be tackled, but still all the way down to the six. A nice pickup of 11 there, Brock. And they'll have first and goal to figure out. They'll go with the option to the right side. And their struggles on the ground continue as he's tackled after a small game. It's a gain of one on first and goal, and now it's going to be second and five. Running this with Henry. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. It's a gain of three. That leaves him only a yard shy on third and goal. Trying to run with Henry. And he's caught behind the line for a loss. It's after plays like these, Kate, I love to study the body language. What is that offense doing after getting stuffed inside on a run like that? And more importantly, how much does it energize that defense? Staring at fourth down, the Ravens will go with Justin Tucker to try for three. Angling this one in from the right hash, the challenge here. And it is good. No problems there on the shorter attempt. And that'll get him back to 11. This is a case of, well, just get what you can on the way out the door, Kate. It's already out of reach. Just take the three, let your kicker get some points, and make it a hair closer in the box score. On the return, here's Jones. And he's going to make this to the 28 before going down. The Cincinnati offense headed out now. They're up by two scores, Brock, but we've got some time left, so they still need to mount a drive here. 
First down, Burrow to throw. Finds his fullback. And he'll get it out to the 34 before he's tracked down. That's what you call efficiency. Exactly what you're looking for in first down. Textbook. It sets up second and very manageable, and it creates that space if you want to take a shot downfield. Short pass brought in. And he's tackled with the first down yardage. He completes it in traffic. Keeps himself upright. And he flips the field for them before being taken down. I can guarantee you that's going to be in Tell the Truth Monday right there in the film room, front and center, showing you the importance of tackling in the open field. An opportunity to cut him down sooner, but the broken tackle allowed him to add those extra yards to the catch. First and goal now as they try to pad this lead. A give now to Brown. Is in. Touchdown, Cincinnati. The Bengals have likely locked up the win right there. It's what every player who scores a touchdown wants to do, Brock. He wants to get right back there and put another six on the board. I've never met an NFL player content with one end zone trip in a game. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Yeah, if you're content, you're not making it to this league. You get one, you're instantly thinking of another, and the fortunate few are able to actually deliver on it. Extra point added on by McPherson. And the Bengals push their lead to 18. Here's McPherson on to handle the kickoff. Hardy on the return. Coverage team gets him down at the 26-yard line. The Ravens and Derrick Henry making their way back out on offense. And his performance has ailed against what has been a very stout defensive front. This hasn't been a contest to stack up their among his better showings partner. They've made it real difficult to find any holes to hit, and there's been absolutely no space for him to work with. Drive starts out with a first and 10. Shotgun snap to Jackson. Complete out to the right. And just gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. At the 26 yard line. Here's Lamar. Completed to Flowers. And he's tackled after gaining a handful. Third and four coming up now. Makes it third and four. Now here's Lamar. He has the first over the middle. And he's going to bring it up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. He manages a gain of eight there. And that's good for a Ravens first down. Bateman, the motion man, left. Jackson yet again. It's caught right side by Johnson. And he pushes this down to the 42 before going down. They get 18 yards out of it and a new set of downs. I may love watching a great thrower, but I love watching a well-done route too, Kate. Make that guy think you're trying to stack him only to drop your hips and cut right inside. Some good work to help reset those chains. Jackson's gonna throw again. He's got Andrews. And not much doing, he stopped quickly. Sometimes when you're just looking to move it forward, get some small yards on a throw, quarterback's best friend, security blanket. And when it's a big old tight end, that's an extra bonus. Play action, here's Jackson. Henry on the catch. And he works this to the 38 before going down. That's a defense's goal, right, Kate? Just get us to third down so we can have a chance to get off the field. And that was a good adjustment on that stop in particular when the back ended up being the target and they were able to keep him short of the sticks. Jackson now on third. Splits a couple of defenders and completes it. Those kind of completions are so frustrating, Kate. <laughs> it's like... Well, John Harbaugh has challenged plenty of calls in his career, and he's got the red flag out once again. Previous play is under review. Well, I certainly don't envy the officials here. A lot of times, Brock, it can be so tough to have the right angle to get a perfect spot on that football. Yeah, how they do it, I just marvel at it. A yeah. bunch of years ago, 
I got to do and be an official, a side judge what? for a spring game. How'd that go? <laughs> uh, not well. <laughs> <laughs> things happen so fast, and I, I really do. I marvel at more often than not how good these officials are at spotting the ball. So upon further review, they get a more favorable spot, and that's enough to give them the first down. That's taken in by Henry. Kid, I don't know why every once in a while I'll get these little flashbacks, but a little play like that just flashes me back to the preseason, my first preseason, when one of the veteran QBs said, hey, Brock, whatever you do, just find completions. You will never go broke taking a profit. Go get a completion. They're at a premium in this league. He's on the move. And he gets this forward to the 19. And that one goes for a gain of 11. And that'll be first down, Baltimore. Going with King Henry here. And they try to power it forward, but only a couple of yards there. Eight yards to go. Well, let's see how they approach this second down. Now Jackson off the play action. Flushed out of the pocket. He'll try and run this. And they will score. It's a Baltimore touchdown. The Ravens get it back to within two possessions. It's a Lamar Jackson touchdown. Great play by the QB there, Brock. The play broke down. He didn't have much of a choice other than to escape and improvise. And in the end, turned out to be the best call he could have made. It is such a necessary tool in today's NFL for that QB to put right in his tool belt, Kate. You know, in my day, you could be a blacksmith, right? You could you just do the job and stay in the pocket. Not anymore. You got to be an artist. And you got to be an artist that can create when things break down. And that's big time to get a touchdown out of it as well. And the Bengals' hands team does its job recovering that kick. Well, kind of feels like we're starting to get to that point, bro. And what point is that, Kate? <laughs> you know, <laughs> the bold point of the game where you have to try something bold could end up becoming a play that finally sinks them, though. Yeah, it's time for desperation. Without a defensive stop here, it's really hard to lay out the scenarios for much success. Every second matters now when you don't come up with that onside kick. Now a shotgun handoff to Brown. And they beat him to the edge. That run stopped back at the line. That tackle made by the rookie from Penn State. Second and 10, need to get some positive yardage here. Brown on the inside give. And he pushes forward, but they don't get much there. Only a yard on the play. An improvement on their last one, but that brings up third and nine. Burrow from the gun. That's going to fall incomplete. Either way, he was breaking it up. Couldn't hang on to the pick, so hits the ground, brings up fourth down. Their punter making his way out now. And this effort's going to give him an even half dozen tonight. And this will fly out of bounds to deny a return. They're going to mark it a little before the 20. Now Baltimore returning its offense to the field of play. And I think they'd be content doing everything the same as their prior drive and getting another touchdown here. First down, here's Lamar. And this one too far in front of him. It's incomplete. No dice on that prior pass. Here's second down. To throw. And that's going to be knocked away, incomplete. Trying to force one through there. So now it's going to be third and long. Now to throw. Fits it through the middle. And he's officially in enemy territory now. They're going to give him the opposing 49. Looking to throw it. And this one's dropped for what would have been a nice game. 
That drop ruins the payoff to a well-designed play. It got a man open and beat the coverage. That's a call they can revisit in the future with hopefully a much better job finishing the catch. Takes off right out of the read option. And that hit stuffs him in his tracks. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone up. Here he is to throw. He'll get this to Henry. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. Clock's still running as the Ravens try hurrying everyone up. He connects downfield on four. And he hits the end zone. Touchdown. I hope nobody left early, Brock, because we have still got a game. You love seeing a tight end get the chance to show off those wheels, right? And in the best of cases, he can rumble the whole way home. Kate, think of getting somebody with that type of mass rolling at full speed. Who's really going to want to stand in the way, wants to stop him anyhow? The answer, nobody. They'll try to run it in. Ooh, and he can't shake the defense. They track him down in the backfield, and this two-point attempt fails. Well, I know we normally look for where the breakdown occurred here, partner, but I think he just made a really good play defensively to get back there. Yeah, you're not just thinking. He absolutely did it. That defender was reacting. Go shoot your shot. And that is teaching tape for that. So down inside the final minute, they're ready to try the onside kick. And that's the Bengals who are on that one. And that's a wrap on this ball game. And he'll be brought down after getting it to the 47-yard line. Out comes the offense for the Bengals. Their lead still more than a field goal, thankfully, should the worst happen, Brock. But obviously the goal here is to hang on to the ball and try to run this game out. Yeah, the goal is to get to the best formation in the history of offensive football. <laughs> the victory formation. The victory formation. <laughs> that yep. is all that you're thinking right now is just make these plays, run out this clock so we can take one more knee and celebrate. It is charged towards the line. That's right around three yards. Now we're going to have a timeout taken by Baltimore. It's second. They'll run again with Brown. And once again, he doesn't manage much before getting brought down. Timeout taken by the Ravens. That is their final one. Setting up for the kneel down on third. They drop to a knee, and what little time we have left here is going to tick down. This is situational football at its best. There's still some time left to bleed off the clock. The really important thing here is you've got to bleed every second of that clock that you can. On is the punt team, and away goes the punt. The Offense ready to begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing now. A bit of desperation on this deep shot. And that one hits the ground incomplete. A single second left now on the clock. Read and react, read and react, read and react. Got to read where the quarterback's eyes are going, and then you got to react as it begins to throw to get to a spot and knock it away. Try and push it deep downfield. And this one falls incomplete. No miracles on the final drive today. This game is over. So the Bengals take this one on the road. And there was no easing up. It took some white knuckling until the very end, but their defense carried that small lead through to the finish line as they escape with a victory. So that's it for us here. Brock Heward, our crew, I'm Kate Scott. This has been the NFL on EA Sports. The Bengals emerge as winners as we say so long from Baltimore.